So movies are just so seamlessly put together, they just flow cut to cut and they just keep your eyes glued. So to get to this level of cinematography, we have to start using the things movies use to create depth in the image, to create a really impactful visual that helps the story sink in more. And a few things they use to do this is reflections, mirrors, Silhouettes. And a lot of things that just obscure the viewer from the subject. really powerful technique to create depth of the image but also when you're revealing subjects hiding details can really grab the viewer's attention and engage the viewer as shooters our instincts are just to shoot as clean as possible to just show the subject as best as possible but you want to do it in a way that intrigues the viewer so here's a little cinematic sequence i put together keeping these things in mind these techniques that almost every movie uses So this is my thought process when I was shooting this and the ideas I pulled from movies to create this more engaging, more cinematic sequence. Now it's not super cinematic in terms of music choice because the reason I went for that music was because it was too bright, too late in the morning to get anything moody or a more cinematic tone of music. So it was quite bright already. So I sort of had to go for a more brighter tune. So this little sequence has a uh, changing audio. So we've got the, the sound of the environment and then we've got the change of music when the headphones go on. And it's also a reveal so we're revealing what's happening the hand is revealed and the subject is revealed and then we obviously have the silhouette going on so we're and then we have another reveal so there's quite a few reveals coming on and then we have a long drawn out shot which is very cinematic as well and in a different video i'll cover long one takes in another video that's another thing not many people use it's a really strong one take in their videos and there's obviously like camera movement and stuff like that but i sort of want to emphasize the less obvious what i've been learning lately so these three shots cover just about all the things we just mentioned and that's why it's one of my favorite shots or favorite two shots put together so it's also in sequence so there's obviously something playing out it's not a montage so it's also a characteristic of movies it's all in order synchronized and as for lenses i used the 50 millimeter i usually use the anamorphic 50 but this location was so good vertically it looked good vertically the roof the high ceiling looked good so anamorphic wasn't gonna show the vertical and just to real briefly touch on camera movement so we're obviously just following the subject pausing on the subject and we're following the subject so we start really far on the right right rule of thirds so like really far and what you have to do is finish on another rule of thirds that looks really good and then you have to maintain a really good looking image throughout the whole shot 
because if it gets if the composition looks no good um, at any stage of the image you sort of ruin your entire shot the whole shot needs a well composed composition the whole time and then you finish on a really strong composition and you start on a good composition and then just for color grading I wanted to darken all this out here so I just put some vignettes in there to just like darken this I, I wanted it all the eye to be drawn over here so this is this was in the morning and I was actually super disappointed that the the fog was ruining the view and that we weren't gonna get any shots but just from watching these movies and recording and studying a lot of photographers that use silhouettes as well um, this popped into mind and then I wanted to build a sequence around this nice looking shot as well because that's what I've talked about in previous videos as well is making the shots in a sequence that really grabs your attention but then I wanted to take the sequence another step with all these other characteristics movies use the silhouettes or just obstructing the viewer's eye a little bit audio change the more of these things you can kind of think of a visual image as like depth to your image the audio gives depth the the image itself gets a lot of depth because you've got a sequence playing out you've got audio playing out you've got revealing detail and progression so those were five or four things that I see in every single movie and now they're really obvious and I always uh, record them and now every movie uh, they really stand out to me and I always see them in movies non-stop so they really help me think think creatively on the spot about how do we use this space to create something interesting something a bit a bit more interesting than just pointing the camera at whatever looks good you gotta think in sequences and the shot only works if you get this shot so because becomes much more difficult you have to you have to think two two three shots ahead it's like you know, it gets kind of tricky to imagine a shot imagine a sequence playing out using these things studying this stuff helps so yeah let me know if you want to see more cinematic breakdowns and yeah i'll catch you in the next one